Whenever someone asks me, what are your top three favorite film directors? They are Wes Anderson, Brad Bird, and Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg is what I consider to be the GOAT of all filmmaking. Like, if you're someone who's watched any Steven Spielberg movie, good for you. And if you haven't seen a Spielberg movie, that, then what are you doing? Just, just pause this video and go watch one of his movies. He's a genius. He's a master mind. Almost every single movie he makes is a masterclass in filmmaking. An example, I bring this up so many times, but it, it's true. His latest film, West Side Story. Like, you look at every single frame of de in detail. Every camera move. Every decision. Every... Anything in this movie, Spielberg puts all his passion into it. And it totally worked out. The Post is... Now, one of his other films, The Post, is one I consider to be Spielberg's most underrated film. Because, like, I don't see many people talking about this one, and it's actually a great film. Because, like, I'm normally... I'm normally not into political stuff, but this is probably my favorite piece of political media. And he's done the best ad adventure film ever made. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Because, like, I, Spielberg, he did the great, the most celebrated adventure franchise ever conceived. He's not going to be directing the fifth one because he did West Side Story instead, and the new one's being held by Helmed by James Mangold. I don't know how that one will turn out, but we'll see. He's also done some, like, war-related films. I mean, The Post had some war in it. There was also Bridge of Spies. But, when it comes to war movies, one of the most celebrated of Spielberg's is Saving Private Ryan. Now, I haven't seen Saving Private Ryan, I'm still trying to find some time to watch it, but I hear this is a devastating movie. Some people say, like, like some of my friends have said, like, oh yeah, that movie's kind of messed up. From what I can, from what I hear, like, I guess, I don't know. But I do know this is, movie is pretty devastating from what I've heard. And another one, I don't have it with me, but another one is Schindler's List with Liam Neeson. I hear people say that is the most, one of the most brilliant dramas ever made. I haven't seen it, but it does look pretty cool, and I will have to give it a watch. Plus, another, so like, that's one thing why Spielberg is one of the greatest directors, because like, he could do so many things, and yet, they don't come off as bad. That's an impressive feat. But also, I just love his advice on filmmaking, and what advice he gives to young filmmakers. In fact, there's an awesome YouTube video of a kid who interviewed Spielberg. Um, I'm going to link it down below. Check it out. It's really cool. And plus, if you look at behind the scenes videos, like, there are, there's also um, a West Side Story behind the scenes playlist. I'm also going to link that down below. But, like, whenever you watch those videos, you can see Spielberg is happy. Because, like, who wouldn't want to be happy seeing their vision come to life? 
I would. So yeah, Steven Spielberg is truly one of the greatest. No, 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 no. The greatest filmmaker ever to live. He has made such an impact in film. From from do, so so far, he went from doing a movie about sharks to a, a movie about street gangs and love. He has made so many masterpieces that have gone down to some of the greatest films ever made. And I think that's a legacy worth living, knowing that you've done.